The other thing inside this tenant portal, which is going to save everybody a ton of time, is maintenance requests. So instead of them emailing, calling, or otherwise to request maintenance of whatever type it would be, they're asked to fill out a form here inside the tenant portal. Hey, basically tell us what's going wrong. The best thing in the world is to ask for pictures or videos, which I require, because I want my technician to be able to go to Home Depot first on the way there if he sees the problem in the video or the picture, rather than going there, looking at the problem, then having to go to Home Depot, and, and you know how that works. So the pictures and videos are awesome. You can also talk about access. Hey, if, is it okay if, if the manager uses the key to come in the unit or not? Uh, or maybe it's an exterior problem that doesn't need access. So these are all submitted online through the dashboard. And I'll show you that, how it looks uh, coming from the management side. Here's the screenshot of an actual service request. I guess it looks like we had a small leak coming into one of the bathrooms. And basically what I can do is I can review this. I can assign it to a vendor and text it to him so that he gets that straight to his phone. Could be any time of the day or night. All of a sudden, I don't have to call him back and forth. When can you go out, call the tenant back? That whole loop is now eliminated because they have the tenant contact information. They can assess the problem using the pictures, call the tenant, schedule the time that works for both, and go handle the problem. And it's all seamless without the interaction of the manager having to coordinate any of that.